So you insert it as you normally would. In Dr. The, uh, Scott Sawyer is teaching Allison Bingham and Jessica Lax, who are residents in training, how to use the hospital's newest piece of equipment, a video laryngoscope. We can give them much better feedback, so it improves our ability to, um, to train them uh, and give them the opportunities to practice uh, um, in a better controlled environment. Unlike a traditional device, the scope has a camera, light, and portable monitor attached to it. Our staff and our teachers are there and they're trying to help us out as best as possible, but it's difficult for them to see exactly where we are, so they can't give us that feedback and that advice and really help us through the procedure. But with this, everyone is able to, to see what's happening, so you can get feedback from everyone in the room. The scope allows the insertion of a breathing tube, known as intubation, to be done quickly, easily, and safely. It gives doctors a clear view of the throat and tube placement, ensuring oxygen gets to the patient. With the older conventional device and no video component, that wasn't always an easy task. If this weren't a video, you're down here, looking here, and if Jess were my attending, Jess, can you see anything? Nothing. Like, I can describe to you what I'm visualizing, but if I'm, if I'm flustered or it's a critical airway that's difficult, there's no real way of just seeing what it is that I'm appreciating, and she can't help me because of that. And time is of the essence while the patient is under anesthesia. The goal of this is that we um, get the procedure done faster with fewer complications, particularly in the most challenging circumstances, which are always with our sickest kids.